so guys in this lecture now we are going to learn how to insert our slab so when we want to insert our slab now you can either pick solid slab here see the slab here or you come to concrete member you select the slab let's say we want to use a thickness of 175 that one you can start with 150 as you know pre preliminary sizing of members so but I'm using 175 you come here the dead load the load now and um, you can choose you can just choose room or you can enter a value so me I'm entering the value 2.7 come here under under impose low is residential so 1.5 so i'll now be left clicking left click 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 i've done left clicking but there's an issue here let me delete this one i saved it and let me check I want to check something my external since I saved us my external reference drawing has gone but we can see and see be working there are some people that doesn't even import from AutoCAD but they see to their design so now my there's a porch there's an entry porch that stops here I've already created a grid so I'll now right click send properties and I'll draw a beam here. I'll right click, I'll enter another column there and another slab there. So this is what we have here. So the next thing, so let's take a look at it in 3D. Left click there twice. You can see that this is what we have done so far so now come back to floor so now the next thing we are going to do is we add beam wall loads that place those places that has wall passing there will be wall loads so th this is th the walls that are going to roof beams now we we'll add it here yeah so left click one of the walls right click i will say edit beam wall load so under edit beam wall load now you enter your unit weight of beam of unit weight of block so we'll be going with like here you can see can even choose from here see external external wall you have that 3.7 but me I'm going with so you me I'll, you can enter your own wall that like me I'll put 3.6 yeah I'm going to go with 3.75 3.75 then wall height just check know that the wall height here yeah, well see this is where we are considering the wall starting from here to the roof you can see that it's 3150 but in as much as it's 3150 we're having we might have a beam depth of 300 on the roof i don't know 300 to 450 so let's use our calculator we we'll subtract that concrete out 3150 minus 300 or 350 2850 so we'll come back here and our height now become 2.85 okay you can see how I load now click on ok so now copy beam wall load usually i paste depends i can paste everywhere and then be deleting those parts that 
doesn't have been overloaded. So let's take a look at this in 3D. Press 3D here. Uh -huh, you can see that we have add we have added wall like they have built wall on this slab already on this beam carrying this load already. So I'll now come back to plan view. What should I do next? I'll delete the walls, the wall load on the places that doesn't have wall. So I'll select, I'll select one. I'll hold control, hold control, hold control, right click, and delete beam wall load. Good. I don't have that there. So let's still go inside our design and see if we have a major place that doesn't accept the wall load then this beam so it doesn't have wall load it's two beams I'll come here right click control edit delete beam wall load Let's see again. Yeah, good. Even this side too, there's no wall load. I right click and delete beam wall load. Good. This is this is what we have here. Let's see. And then there are places that the wall is not resting directly, like here. So there is no wall load. Delete beam wall load. We have this now. But this place is the has wall. This place is that the wall is going to lie directly on the slab. You now come to that's not that you come to line slab load. Then you now come to this line load. So they are asking you You don't put the load 3.57 multiplied by so, so, so the the same load on the wall you put here so I was having 10 I'll put it let me take a look at my AutoCAD and I'll draw I'll draw this here control so make it straight good I have that this is this load here let me delete one of these and see I see that there's another one here. You come. I can't see it again properly, but somewhere here. I hold control. Turn that place. You have that. So let's see what we've been doing in 3D. Here you can see see those line loads. It's resting on the slab. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you for watching. And the next lecture, we're going to progress and move to inserting, doing strips, generating flaws, and the rest. Thank you for watching.